Welcome back to another edition of the Yodelcast. I am your host, Doc Lettuce, bringing to you guys the match for the number one spot on the TWL American Ladder between Egocentric and Icarus. Egocentric is currently holding the fifth spot in the league, and they have challenged up, so if they manage to take this best of three, they will be crowned number one on the TWL ladder. So here we go. This is once again with uh, US rules. So for all of you that have been watching my European cast, that means it's only a five-cap game. Uh, apart from that, I'm not entirely sure what other rules apply in terms of bans and whatnot, so we're just going to go ahead and cast it as we see it. Uh, so as this game has gotten underway here on Drydock, I'm going to give you guys a roster rundown. On Blood Eagle, we do have Icarus with Chambers, Killar, Ecos, Astralis, Kevin, Elixir, and Mavi. And on Diamond Sword, we have Egocentric with Sweetness, Shottingham, David Bowie, or David Bowie, rather, Benfolds, Meet.org, and M-Star. And acronym, in case I forgot to mention them. My apologies, guys. It is 4.30 in the morning, so I might be a little bit slow on a couple things. But uh, that's the price you pay for casting as we watch David Bowie get absolutely mowed down there by the Mavi and Elixir combo. I'm just going to quick take a quick look here at the defensive setups. We do have Chambers doing the sniping, which is going to be very troublesome here for the egocentric team uh, we have mavi doing soldier defense and elixir doing some pathfinder defense which seems to be a interesting strategy there's there's a couple teams that decide to run the one soldier and one dueler strategy and then you see uh, this setup as well where they run the one soldier one pathfinder for those nitrons on the flag i do see david bowie coming in, coming in here so i'm just gonna Keep looking at this and see if they manage to get a Nitron off. There's a good, good amount of spam coming to Meet.org. Benfold and Jottingham all taking them out, but Mavi with a very nice body block prevents David Bowie from getting it. But he does Llama grab it in the end, and he is sort of getting away with some decent speed. Uh, Chambers was taken down. He just respawned. There's some snipes coming in. He does manage to get mowed down there by Elixir. No one's really able to pop the flag, so it is going to be returned easily uh, for the Icarus team. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take a look now at the egocentric defensive setup as their flag was just picked up and dropped here in the field. Acronym will, of course, be doing the sniping. Sweetness will be on that soldier. And it looks like they have M-Star doing some doing some hoffing. So we're not going to be seeing any sort of pathfindery, chasey stuff coming out of this egocentric team. They're going to rely on their offense to return it if they end up getting away with the flag. Uh, this is a much less common setup. Uh, earlier today, I think we saw IDK it was running with a hoff. And a, uh, and a Pathfinder for some chasing, but David Bowie in the meantime getting out of here with 20 health left, but the Sniper is not does not have line of sight. He is probably going to be able to get away with this, but an amazing shot there from Elixir with the chain gun. Maybe a little bit lucky, I don't even know, but that was just a great shot. Shottingham just too late there with the flag pop. Uh, shot just a little bit too late, and he manages to get the return, so great play there by Elixir getting that chase, managing to catch up to uh, David Bowie, but just no dice there for the egocentric team. Uh, they had the flag very far back to their base, which is a great start, but unfortunately they just did not escort them well enough, and they didn't manage to pop the flag, leading to an easy return. So as I was uh, quickly talking about before the flag was grabbed, we did see a similar strategy with a Hoff, as M-Star was actually way off the flag. Kevin's going to take advantage, but Sweetness is there with the chain gun. Does mow him down fairly quickly. Kalar and Ego's coming and trying to do something about it, but Sweetness is probably going to be able to get this return. He's actually just going to sit by it as David Bowie has grabbed the flag. Uh, Chambers no longer has a line inside of him, and Elixir is very far away. This could be the ones that are here for Team Egocentric. David Bowie is still going. No chasing in sight here. Kevin, Ecos, and now Astralis and Kalar are all waiting on a stand. Some huge chain of fire going down. David Bowie does go down. Astralis just jumps right over the flag, unfortunately for him, and Meat.org does end up picking it up here. Astralis still going after him, as is Ecos, and he does go down, but it's Shottingham. He picks it back up again. Doesn't look, it looks like they've just killed off all the chasings here, so he is going to be able to get this 1-0. Chambers and Astralis coming in a little bit too late here. Not going to make it in time, and there we go. So a 1-0 there for Team Egocentric. Uh, kind of surprised. Icarus is a very strong team, uh, so it'll be good. It'll be very good for Egocentric if they manage to take him down. It's a, it'll be a very vindication of how far they've come. Uh, we have watched them in the past, and you know, sort of seen them rising through the ranks, and it would be very awesome to, to for them to manage to take down a team like Icarus, because they are certainly considered to be one of the top teams. Uh, we do, I'm just watching Sweetness there get mowed down by a combination of Kalar and Eco, so he's gonna be off the stand a little bit here, but it's just M-Star doing the defending anyway. 
He's got some great mind placements, making it very difficult. We're gonna go ahead and watch and see if Kevin manages to get away with this flag. He does manage to get away. Goes over him, actually. And uh, he's flying straight up in the air, but Akronin with some great sniping, unfortunately. That little camera glitch there, deciding to pick the wrong person to spectate. Uh, but we did see a great snipe there from Akronim coming out, managing to take him down. Sweetness did change into that Pathfinder to chase if needed, but uh, just allowed him to get close to that flag, and he was sitting next to it and got the return as someone, I believe, was coming in to try and do some harassment. So good play here from Egocentric at the start as David Bowie's getting out with another grab. I don't see Chambers anywhere. I think Ben Folds was just going right after Chambers. Did manage to get the kill on him, and David Bowie is making it back, but he's being heavily chained down here by Ecos, who's taking him down very quickly, and finally David Bowie does go down, and Kalar with a very nice mid-air return. Uh, good play there by the Ecos Kilar combination to very, you know, very, very rapidly take him down. That Raider chain gun is just so strong. It's just unbelievably strong, does an incredible amount of damage, and if you hit a couple of those shots in a row, a capper is going to drop. But as I was mentioning, we are seeing some great play here out of Egocentric to start off with. Certainly coming in with a lot of confidence. They've, they haven't lost a game, uh, like a legitimate good... Uh, important game in quite a while. I don't know how their scrims have been going because I haven't been able to keep up with them as much, but uh, from the games I've been casting and listening and hearing to, they're certainly on the rise here, so they ha certainly have the confidence to take down Icarus. Now they just need to keep this up as uh, David Bowie does get taken down here after grabbing the flag. It's going to be an easy return. No shot against coming flying in, but he's very low. 123 health. Anything's really going to take him down, and Chambers is going to stop him in his tracks. Meet.org coming in here trying to do something, but he's just going to go for the dueling on Elixir. Does take down Elixir, but gets sniped there by Chambers, so this is probably going to be an easy return. There we go. Astralis just coming in to do the honors. Uh, no one from the Egocentric team was even really on the way, so that's going to be very straightforward for them. So nice Merv spam coming in here from Kalar, keeping M-Star off this flag stand. He might have to swap and change classes because he can't afford to leave the stand clear because Kevin's going to be able to grab it like this, but he is incredibly low already. Some great chain gun fire coming in here. Acronym's going to be able to get an easy snipe. There we go. And uh, the flag is going to bounce, and it's not in a great spot for any sort of flag field pickup. And so this is probably going to get returned here by the egocentric team. It would be take something special here. And it looks like, yeah, Icarus is just going to give up on this flag. There's really no easy way to approach this. And we even see Kevin setting up here back on his normal route. He's just going to ignore the flag. Although now he actually has to go for it. He would have reached the flag stand uh, before it got auto-returned. So he had to go for it and he did force the return. But unfortunately that is going to mean he has to reset. Uh, they're not running with a two capper strategy. So he is the only capper. So they aren't just going to be able to take advantage of the fact that Sweetness was off the stand. You see Kevin is setting up there again, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, he is the only capper. On the other side, uh, we had we have seen Shottingham come in, flying in as a Pathfinder every now and again, but I believe they're also running with a one capper strategy, uh, with David Bowie, obviously, uh, doing what he does. As far as the defense goes here for the egocentric team, it seems to be holding strong after Kevin comes in here. I'm going to go ahead and swap flag stands. Uh, he gets quickly mowed down there by M-Star, who seems to favor more of a use the chain gun to kill this person rather than use a super heavy and stay on the flag, which is a, certainly an interesting style of strategy, and it's, you know, it's it's working fairly well right now. Ben Fold's doing some really nice knife work there on Chambers, manages to take him down. I don't see David Bowie anywhere, though, so they're not really going to be able to take advantage of it, but he's coming in now, but it might be a little bit too late. He's no longer in a Pathfinder, but he gets Nitron because he wasn't able to go as fast uh, by Elixir, so good Nitron there from Elixir, realizing, oh, tried to bump the flag, but it comes right back into David Bowie, who is just going down now to Chambers, who has swapped out into this. Oh, no, still in Sentinel, my bad. Uh, gets the return before he just goes down. Or, not quite going down. There we go. Eventually drops. Uh, Kevin, though, finally getting away with a fairly solid grab, but he's going pretty high up in the air. Unfortunately, for the egocentric team, it looks like Acronym is dead, so he is probably going to be able to get away with this, down to 435 health. David Bowie and Meet.org are really the only ones near the flag stand able to do anything. Can he land a shot? Nope. 199 health. No one's coming in. That was kind of sloppy there from the egocentric team. Uh, they had plenty of time to get people in position, but no one really would do it. And, uh, so we do have a tying cap at 1-1. One one. Him start here doing some chain gunning on Kalar, who looked like he was coming in for a grab. He is indeed going to grab it, but really nothing happening as Akronim does take him down. Uh, Astral is going to be able to pick it up, though. He was in that infiltrator doing some dueling, and it looks like he's actually going to be able to get away here. It's just really sweet. He's trying to chase after him. Astralis does toss the flag off, but Ecos was busy not paying attention. He picks it up himself and tosses it off again, and Kalar picks it up this time. Shottingham is on his flag stand. Sweet is coming in as well, and so is Benfold's coming to do something. Down to 63 health. He does get the cap off before the chain gun fire takes him down. Mmm, quick turnaround here for the Icarus team. 
Uh, not not bending to the pressure. Kevin, though, with a nice continuation grab. No one was on the stand. He's easily going to be able to get away. Some sniper fire coming in, taking him down to 402, but it's not going to be enough. He is getting away. Acronym's about to lose line of sight. And there we go. He has just lost line of sight, so it's all up to the offense. Can they manage to grab this flag off the stand? The answer looks to be no. So we are going to be looking at a 3-1 to one scoreline here for Icarus. Three very quick caps. Um, not sure what's going on here for Egocentric. They really need to tighten it up here. Their defense got a little bit lack there, and especially that first... Uh, the first two caps were, in my opinion, fairly preventable. They just sort of didn't have enough chasing, and they, and they got fairly unlucky, too. Uh, the cappers were both down to pretty low health. They just couldn't quite hit those last couple chain gun shots, and they resulted in uh, two caps, and which led to the easy continuation third cap. So it'll be interesting to see how they respond to this. There's 15 minutes left to go. Clearly enough time for anyone to win. No problems on that side. Uh, so... Uh, Kevin there just had a quick grab, but he did go down, so we're going to keep an eye on this one as David Bowie gets taken there down by Mobby. Uh, not enough distraction coming out here from Ben Folds and Shot again. They're taking down Chambers very nicely, but that's really not enough at this point. They need to keep the flag stand clear as Kalar, for some reason, is grabbing this in a heavy, and he's going to go nowhere. He does sort of toss it off here. Oh, Kevin was coming in from the other side, uh, but Kevin unfortunately ran right into the block, and he is going to be probably killed very soon here. Acronym was just taken down, I believe, by Astralis, so Kevin could be getting away. He is actually going to punt it off here, but Shottingham is really the only one there. So not uh, the best idea to punt. Ecos is coming in to try and get it, and he does as Shottingham actually misses the flag. David Bowie is now really going in for the grab, and he's their last chance, although Ecos does toss it off here to Kevin. Interesting idea. I don't think I agree with that at all. It's buying uh, the team egocentric a lot of time. His sweetness comes flying in now. does get a nice shot and mows him down with a chain gun. Ecos is going to be able to pick up this flag here, though. 804 health. Ben folds with a nice E grab. Going to buy his team a little bit more time, but sweetness goes down. It's just on Shottingham now to try and do something with this is David Bowie and Meet.org are coming to try and crash this. Ben Folds is now in some serious trouble. He has the whole team on him, but no, David Bowie did get a nice Nitron off there. Is maybe going to be able to return this. No, goes flying right by it, and Kevin is able to pick it back up again. So the team Icarus is going to be able to hold onto, their, onto the egocentric flag for now as Ben Folds somehow still has this flag. Finally gets sniped down by Chambers. Astralis is going to be able to return this. Uh, Sweetness does just get taken out there, and we are going to be looking at the 4-1. So, great play by Ben Folds. He absolutely hang, hung on to that flag more than long enough. The, that was just sort of his team's fault on that one. I maybe would have liked to see M-Star switch classes and try and go for the return as well. I mean, obviously, if it didn't work out, they, they would have had some problems. They wouldn't have had anyone on defense. But, you know, an extra person there really could have been helpful maybe to get that uh, Nitron flag after David Bowie got the nice uh, Nitron and, and knocked the flag into the field. But instead... Uh, they just couldn't seem to crack that defense, even though Ben Folds was holding onto it for a very nice amount of time. So, shame for the egocentric team. Let's see how they manage to respond. They're getting some nice clearing going on here. It's just Mobby left on the flag. If they take him out, David Bowie's going to be able to get away here. Two grenades coming in there, and they do not time correctly. David Bowie is getting away now, but Kevin, in the meantime, did get a grab, but M-Star did take him out with a mine, so we could be looking at a return cap here. Uh, David Bowie does get amazingly mowed down there by the combination of Elixir and Chambers, and no one's there to be able to help him, so the flag is going to get returned. In the meantime, Kalar had actually picked up the flag. I believe it was still from the field. Uh, ben Folds is going to have to get this E-grab again. Kevin is going to be the one picking it up off uh, off the field after Kalar tosses it to him. Ben Folds just trying to stay alive again, buying his team some time. David Bowie goes down, though, so it's just going to be on Shottingham now. No one else is here. Shottingham's coming in, trying to do something, gets a Nitron, buying his team a little more time. It's not going to be enough, though. Kevin is able to pick it up and gets right over the flag, finishing this game at 5-1. to one. So it looked very promising there for Egocentric at the start. Unfortunately, they just could not hold up the pace. Icarus turned on the heat and managed to win this game 5-1. to one. Uh, So the next map will either be Catabatic or Sunstar. I believe Catabatic, but it could be Sunstar. So I'm going to say Catabatic because no one likes playing Sunstar right now. So... Uh, I will go ahead and cut this cast off here. Not much was needed to be said on that one. Egocentric just sort of wasn't able to keep up their pace, and Icarus just simply up their play. Uh, so some great play there from Icarus coming out there. Good good showing, though, by Egocentric, certainly getting off the first cap and giving us a good shot. But no dice. Let's see if they can take the second map and bring us to a best of three. So until the next map goes up, thank you, everyone, for watching. I am Doc Lettuce, and I'll see you.